Okay, well, welcome back to an evening edition of Patrick Boyle on Finance. This is sort of the second video I'm recording today, and it's just because there's news that I thought I should probably get out, and that's why I'm still uh, still have my camera in the uh, in the music room. But anyhow, uh, this is just a quick video to update you on Tesla's addition to the S&P 500 index. It's been announced that Tesla, the electric car maker, as if I need to explain that, is going to be added to the S&P 500 index next month. This was announced after the market closed today and has pushed Tesla shares up around 14% uh, when I last looked at it in aftermarket trading. Okay, so admission to the benchmark will take effect with the quarterly rebalancing, which will happen on December 21st. And so that's an early Christmas present for Elon Musk. Uh, this comes almost three months after Tesla first qualified to join the S&P 500. And I made a video about that edition back then, which I'll link to in the description, because basically everything I said then is valid today. That video explains how index additions work and how traders game index ads and deletes. The stock had run up quite a bit as soon as it became eligible for inclusion as investors anticipated its addition to the index, only for it then to retreat after the S&P Dow Jones index uh, managers passed the company over in earlier reshuffles of index constituents. The fact that Tesla has relied heavily on the sale of regulatory credits to achieve the four consecutive quarters of accumulated profits that are required for addition to the index made it uncertain as to whether the committee that oversees the index would grant admission at all. Uh, Tesla has said that profits from credits, which don't reflect the core performance of its underlying business, its auto manufacturing business, are expected to fall away in the future. Tesla's huge stock market value, which stood at $387 billion at the market close today, could cause extra volatility in the index next month when it's added, given the scale of potential demand from passive investors who might need to buy the stock. S&P said that it would seek feedback from investors about whether it would be better to add Tesla to the index in one installment on December 21st or in two tranches ending on that day. If this happened, it will be the first time ever that an index ad has been done in stages like that. As I mentioned in the last video, it's extremely unusual for a company to get as big as Tesla did before being profitable. Usually companies are added when they're much smaller than Tesla is right now. So they are added to the index without causing any disruption or any problems. Tesla will be the largest newcomer ever added to the S&P 500, and this could cause some market disruptions uh, on the ad date. Now, the largest before Tesla was Facebook, which was added, I think, back in 2013, but it was much smaller. It was about a third the size that Tesla is right now. Tesla will actually be added as the 12th largest company in the S&P. So on day one, it'll be the 12th largest company in the S&P 500 index. And that's a company that's already heavily weighted in high PE tech stocks. As I mentioned in the last video, index funds and other closet indexers might have to buy up to $50 billion of Tesla stock. The reason that this is so disruptive being added at this stage is that other stocks will need to be sold by indexers in order to rebalance their positions. So normally you have small stocks leaving the index and small stocks being added to the index. And so you don't have to sell a bunch of the stocks that you already have in the index portfolio. This is the reason that S&P are talking about breaking the addition into two in order to minimize this disruption. Now, indexers are also likely to generate some unwanted capital gains taxes on their investments as the funds have to sell these other stocks, which will be up in order to free funds in order to buy Tesla. Okay, well, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will see you later. Bye.